Some of the he was on the cover of Time magazine. Not not Time. Is it Time? Or National Jew? Really <laughs> Shush. When I was four months old, my parents moved our family to Italy. We lived next to a 500-year-old Italian farm, and I would help slaughter rabbits and pluck chickens, and that was like my my games, my play, sort of in a weird way. <laughs> when I had my kids here in the United States, I felt like there was always something missing, so we moved out here to the country, and that's what I'm trying to teach them, that food comes from the earth and how it comes to our table. So it's really important for me to farm both food and fiber because it teaches us as a community that we can create a more sustainable lifestyle, both by creating our own clothes and creating our own food. I kind of knew a lot about meat rabbits, and um, I had a friend who had an angora rabbit, and I fell in love with it. Wanted to try spinning angora wool. I have 27 animals here on this farm, and each and every animal has a reason to be here. We can't rebuild the soil without managing the animals properly, so we use rotational pasture methods. Basically, everything on this farm is sustainable in kind of a circular fashion. Living in the country has brought me more to the roots of my childhood, but I want people to know that anybody can do this. You can do all this in a very small plot of land. So that these skills aren't difficult, they're very easy, and they're fun to share with your friends. So I think anybody can you know, work the land and teach our children how to live more sustainably. <laughs>